Your thoughts on, on what for inviting me down. Of course. Your thoughts on what transpired today between Turkey and Russia. Turkey says Russia was violating its airspace. Russia has come very, very close and has seemed it seemed to have done this several times. Is it are they trying to provoke a NATO response, do you think? Um, I'm it, it's, it's a tragic a, um, accident that took uh, lives of uh, two Russian pilots uh, because I think the second one uh, um, which uh, uh, landed, who landed uh, um, on the Syrian territory uh, was uh, uh, shot by uh, Syrian um, uh, rebels. And by the way, it's very important to mention that uh, even if Russian plane uh, was operating in Syria. It was not in the ISIS-controlled uh, areas. It was in the in the area in the north, uh, controlled by um, Western-backed uh, opposition, which you know reveals another lie of Vladimir Putin that uh, Russian planes in Syria uh, was was sent to uh, bomb uh, ISIS. Uh, we know that they are they are in Syria to prop up uh, murderous regime of Bashar al-Assad. And I predicted actually this kind of outcome uh, 50 days ago, saying that with Russian planes flying in, in, in this area, eventually it could be a confrontation with, with, with mm -hmm. Turks because we knew uh, under Putin's command, uh, Russian uh, planes violated the airspace of many NATO countries, including this one. Uh, near Alaska, and of course Great Britain and 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 uh, the Baltic states, and uh, I believe there was a command uh, from Putin or his generals to the pilots to ignore all the warnings, and it ended up with this disaster. Yes, and I remember, in fact, on Twitter, you did predict that you were saying this very thing because, with you know, the United States had never declared any sort of no-fly zone, and you have all of these different sovereign entities flying around over there in this same area. At some point, something like this, there was going to be some sort of conflict, some sort of dust-up that was bound to happen. Yes, uh, Erdogan had no choice but to defend NATO borders because Obama wouldn't. Yeah, that's a great point with that. And the president, the Pentagon says that they're standing by Turkey with this. They already, for, for NATO, as far as NATO is concerned, they already invoked Article 4. They met in Brussels today, uh, trying to, uh, or Article 5 rather, trying to determine whether or not they, what kind of response they were going to have with this. And, and but I really don't think, Gary, I'm not really, I, I really don't think that Putin is concerned because he knows, I, and I think he's counting on the United States under this administration to not do anything, regardless of if Turkey asks uh, you know, for more involvement. What say you on this? Yes, you're absolutely right. I mean, Putin believes that he has 14 months to go as long as Obama stays in the office. But Putin's problem is that you have other NATO members. And uh, uh, Turkey already demonstrated that it would not be waiting for the United States and to act if, uh, if uh, 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 being under attack. Um, and now Putin has a very tough choice because he, he was very good in bluffing. Uh, he keeps playing uh, poker, geopolitical poker, having very weak hand. But now Erdogan called his bluff. And uh, I don't know what Putin is going to do. If he does nothing, then it will be a demonstration that it was bluff all, all, all the time. And uh, Putin's expectations were based on, on uh, his reading of Obama and, and other European leaders who proved to be very weak and, and, and kept folding cards. Mm. Uh, but if he wants to take a revenge, that will be an open confrontation with a NATO country. And Russia has no uh, military capability, definitely in this region, uh, to take on, uh, take on Turkey. So I, I think that we'll be, we'll, be, we'll be facing a new development. I predict Putin will probably take a two, three days time out because he always disappears after a cri after major crisis. And, and he has to, you know, to uh, wage his, his options. But eventually he will try to raise the stakes maybe elsewhere because uh, stocking chaos and, and, and conflicts is the only way for him to prop up his uh, image of a strong man and invincible leader back in Russia.